Okay guys, this video is going to be why these five things Lucifer will tell you is wrong. Okay, so I'm actually going to explain why it is instead of just saying those things. What's most important are the things you want out of life. Okay, so the key word here is want. Life is not always about our wants. Sometimes we should just give God thanks for what we have. Okay? Just follow your heart and you will never go wrong. The reason why this is wrong is because the Bible teaches us that the heart can be hardened or corrupted by committing sin and giving into Satan's lies. So the heart is not the best thing to rely on. An example would be a wife who's fed up with her husband because he's grumpy in the mornings. So she starts flirting with her neighbor, Dan. And so uh, one day she figures, hey, I should just follow my heart and leave my husband for Dan, which is, of course, a sin. This is why we should follow the word of God rather than our own hearts. This entire universe is filled with our glory. Yeah, this is obviously a misleading thing to say to someone because the universe is not filled with our glory. Uh, we are the inhabitants of Earth. It's God who created the heavens and everything else, so the universe would actually be filled with God's glory, not ours. No God which is good and loving would ever punish you. A lot of people get caught up on the, the good and the loving part on this, but what you must understand is that if God is good and loving, he is also just, which means he punishes those who do iniquity or wicked things. An example of this would be if you're a father and you have a son and he steals something. Uh, you want to punish him to teach him that stealing is wrong. Now, if you don't punish him, he won't learn this lesson and he could grow up and uh, become a burglar who breaks into the wrong house and, let's just say, gets gunned down for doing so. Only a chaotic person would be content in a world with no laws or justice or consequences for bad actions. Don't worry, there is no judgment day. This is an easy one. Uh, the Bible teaches us Christians that Christ will be the one who judges you after this life. And if anyone denies that, they're obviously trying to mislead you into living a life of sin without consequence. And that's evil, no matter how sweet they may sound when they say it. 